Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We've got a proper AR-15 style carbine. Today we are in Home SMG Rifle Carbine AR-15 SBR. Stands for what? Short Barreled Rifle? <laughs> it's got this collapsing stock. Well, it's a stock in H3, so we'll call it a stock. We've got regular Stanag mags. We've got AR-15 controls. We've got all the goodies you would expect out of an AR platform. Let's check it out. Let's talk magazines. It will take any of the Stanag compatible magazines. That means anything from the five round little bitty guys all the way up to the hundred round double drums. I have a separate video just for all the Stanag magazines, so I don't have to do it every single time. Linked in the description below. Check it out. Let's check out the controls. We got standard AR platform style controls on that. What does that mean? Well, magazine goes in the magazine well, like you think. Uh, you've got a centered line charging handle here that will open the dust cover when you pull it back automatically. You can also click with your trigger and close the dust cover if you want to. Uh, left on the trackpad, we'll change the selector switch on this one. We've got two. We've got safe and semi only. It is a semi automatic gun. And the dust cover will fly open if you wish. <laughs> when you fire it. Let's see if it locks open on empty. The charging handle does not reciprocate. Yes, it will lock open on empty. Down in the trackpad it will eject the magazine. Up on the trackpad, we'll release the bolt like so, and now you're ready to go again. You've got a folding stock. Grab it by the butt pad. Give it a slide, adjust it to wherever you'd like it to be, and I think that just about covers it. Oh, oh, not quite, I'm sorry. You've got a magazine lock open on empty, as I mentioned. Down the track by eject the magazine, yes, but you can also release the bolt by pushing the bolt release button, which is right there. You don't have to do anything with your offhand, just get it near it, and it'll click it, and it'll release the bolt forward. Let's see what attachments will fit. Looks like we got some rails. How about some red dot action? Yeah, I got a rail so we can put a red dot anywhere on the top there. You can put it on the bottom if you're strange. Um, you can put, yeah, foregrip on the bottom. Yes, you can put a foregrip on the bottom. How many red uh, rails on the sides? No, no rails on the sides, just the top and bottom. A minor bummer there. How about the barrel? Ooh, looks like you got a nice little flash hide everything on there. Can you put a muzzle brake on top of it? You sure can. We'll find out when the recoil test if that actually makes a difference. How about a suppressor? Yep, you can slap a suppressor on there. How about your rail extendo or <laughs> rail adapter on there? Yes, you can put the rails on the barrel. How about a barrel extension? Yep, you got a barrel extension. What else do we got on here? We got lasers. Yeah, we can cover that. How about a stock? Well, you already got a stock. You don't need an extra stock, so I think that covers it. Take a look at the sights. Oh, it does not come with any flip up irons or any irons of any kind. So you are stuck with your flat top, which isn't the end of the world, but it is certainly intended to have a stock put or a sight put on it rather. So here's your low profile red dot. That'll do just nicely. Thank you very much. Let's do our recoil test. We are semi-automatic, boo! So I'm just gonna have to pull the trigger as fast as I can. See what we can do. We got 30 rounds of 5.56 by 45 NATO. Let's see what we can do with this. A little erratic there, but hey, 9.19. Didn't feel like there was a whole lot of recoil on that. Felt pretty good. Pulled off to the left a little bit. 919 to beat. Let's see if the muzzle brake will do anything. Hey, not bad. 9.7. Wow. It is semi auto, but that muzzle brake sure helps. And finally, the suppressor. Nine, five, three, suppressor does help. Ooh, pretty good for semi-auto. There you have it, the AR-15 SBR. Not full auto, but yeah, it's got rails. <laughs> Till next time, I will see you.
Ooh, getting a little fast at the end. Practice, practice, practice.